We're a society of do-it-yourself. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. When you don't have boots, it's hard. Inequality is the issue of today. We're nearing a place where half of America is living in poverty. That's got to be our top priority for the world's richest country. The very richest Americans, those in the top 1%, have been gaining a larger and larger share of the economic pie, while the earnings of people in the middle of the income distribution have been stagnant, and the earnings of the people at the bottom of the income distribution have actually been falling. That's not an income gap, that is an income canyon. We're asking families of four, five, six to live on very low means. They cannot own. They, you know, barely can rent. The 140 million Americans are living one paycheck away or one child's illness away from complete financial devastation. I mean, that's not really living, that's just not dying. When the family you're born into, the zip code where you're born, determines your destiny, that tears at the fabric of the American dream. What we need is one fair wage. We, we, we want a war. We want a war. No justice, no peace. What we have to do as a society is stop being blind to history. Stop being blind to systems. Understand that your privilege is actually built on my oppression. We create inequalities by what we choose to value and what we choose to ignore. It costs us a lot more to allow this level of poverty to exist than it would cost to fix it. But to fix it would require some empathy and compassion that America lacks. What's at stake is fundamentally what America is about.